Hey everybody, today we're gonna do a... Um, today, hi, I'm Andy. Today we're gonna do the layer masking tutorial. Okay, I should probably mention that I just had some surgery on my teeth and that I took some morphines, like four or five of them, and then I took some Percocets doctor never said I shouldn't mix them, but he never said I should. I'm starting uh, to get the feeling that maybe I should not have, but we're going to do a tutorial on layer masking today. Hi, I'm Andy. So, first thing we're going to do is, let's do a picture. Um, I'm going to use my, my cat. Tyrone and we're gonna he's we're gonna let's just do a composition new one by clicking there you can adjust your settings to what you need it doesn't really matter for this because it's just practice um, so what we do is drag Tyrone and we're gonna put him in there he's a little too big so we're gonna collapse that and go to transform we're gonna scale him down a bit uh, fuck, there we go, um, and then just lower him a little bit, because what we're gonna do, I think, is change what's outside the window, because he deserves better than that trash, he's such a good guy, he's such a good guy, I love him, I love him so much, um, uh, so we, we could change it, we could put him, in the jungle, or in Narnia or something, maybe, well let's start with the layer mask. What we're going to do is we're going to mask out the window, and what that means is it's going to, it's going to get rid of the window and whatever layer is behind this image will appear in the window. So we could use this, the, the rectangle tool. Sorry, I should mention that. Always have this selected, or else it's going to create a shape layer, which is very annoying. Oh, see? That's annoying. So if you have this selected, instead of making a shape, it'll make a mask. But we don't want to use the rectangle. We want to have our own perfect mask. So we're going to use the pen tool. Um... It's a lot easier to use the hotkeys for this. The pen tool is your G. Your hand tool is the H, and the H lets you move your canvas around. And the V tool, the V button, is your cursor, which lets you curse. So we're gonna do the G, the a pen tool, which is gonna allow us to make a custom shape mask. So we're just gonna go and select the whole window. Don't worry about being too perfect because I'll show you a trick to making it look a little more seamless. Oh my god, these pills are strong. They give you these really vivid dreams where you're not sure if they're dreams. I'm pretty sure this isn't a dream, but why the fuck would I dream about After Effects? It's too much. So once you get to the edge of the canvas, you can just... There. And you're gonna notice immediately that it blacks out the rest. And that's by because... Default... By default, your mask is gonna be set to Add down here. And what that means is it's only gonna add what's in... What's the, to the layer mask, but we want to subtract, so it's going to subtract whatever is within the layer mask. Um, these ones have different effects too. They just change the way they uh, blend with the layer beneath them, but um, the most common ones are add and subtract, but for today we're going to do subtract. So that's black right now, because what behind what's behind this layer is black, so let's put something back there. I mean, we can do a jungle, or a... 
or like a tree house. Oh, that'd be cool. Let's see. Maybe, uh... Turn... Hooch? Oh. Yeah, we'll do space. We'll do space. Let's get that in there. So... Holy fuck, that's big. So we're gonna put that on the layer beneath Tyrone. And you're gonna notice immediately there our, our layer mask is filled with space. That's pretty beautiful. And that's a really big picture. So maybe uh, we want to make it a little more animated because if it's not animated we could just do this in Photoshop. Am I right? Of course I'm right. So it's a little big. We'll scale it down first of all. Um, move it. Move just to the edge of the. If you hold shift and drag that. If you hold shift and drag anything, it makes it go a lot faster. And to edit these values, you just basically click, hold, and then move your cursor left or right. And that will change the values. Um, so now we have that there, we're going to set a keyframe. And that's basically going to tell us what the end, what the position we want, and then we'll go about 10 seconds ahead, and we'll change the values so that there. Over here, you can see this line forming. That's the uh, path that our image is going to take, and so it sets another keyframe. You can see there. So we have the two keyframes. So our second keyframe is in this position, and then the keyframe before that is in this position. So basically, that's going to change the value between those two keyframes over time, and it's going to look like he's flying through space. Yes. Uh. Okay. Okay. So you can see that that isn't seamless. That looks squared off. It looks wrong looks fake. So we'll go back to the Tyrone layer to his mask and you're gonna notice these things mask path if you want your path to move your mask to move around if you're following something you're gonna keyframe your mask path opacity changes that how opaque Tyrone is expansion is how big the mask is. See? We're just gonna leave that at zero. And feather is what we want to look at. That's gonna soften the edges of the map. The mask, sorry. So I find that 15 is good. Might not be the best here. So yeah, see it's a little squared off still. So we're gonna go up to about 25. And that's pretty good. It's pretty soft, you can't really tell. But it still looks like that space isn't supposed to be there. Mostly because it's ridiculous, right? So we're gonna go... I have this plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. In another tutorial, I'll talk about color correction and stuff. But for now, we'll make an adjustment layer by right-clicking in the empty space. Go to New, create an adjustment layer. What an adjustment layer does is it allows you to make adjustments to the whole composition without actually editing individual files. So we're going to click and drag Magic Bullet Looks onto the adjustment layer. This is a really great plugin and I really recommend it because it can really make your footage beautiful and amazing. But the downside is it's pretty expensive. So if you can't afford it, that's okay. You can achieve the same effects basically through your color correction tools. Um, like levels and color balance and whatnot. But um, this one just sort of makes it easier and lets you choose from some presets and also lets you edit them. So we'll pick one that sort of makes them blend a little cat eye. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. 
So you can see that it looks a little more natural, like it's gazing off into the abyss of space. So what we'll do is we'll lower our render area. Because you don't want to render the whole thing, that's going to take a decade. But, so we just click this button, which says RAM Preview. And then it'll render out what you have selected here in your timeline. You're going to see that that looks a little jerky right now because it's going slowly, but once it plays for real, it's going to be amazing. It's just going to be beautiful, guys. It's just it's going to be amazing. Please. Oh, so sleepy. My mouth is pulling with blood. I think the clot broke. Oh, oh, oh. That looks like he's just doing a nice little hover through space, a little a little stargazing trip. We'll talk maybe I'll show you a little bit about that's that's layer masking basically. That's what you wanna do. There's also other things you can do, which I'll do in another tutorial. You can track things. You can track motion, so if you want to track, maybe the cat's moving, you can track him. But we'll stick to this for now. So we'll, we'll, we'll edit the velocity. Easy ease in on these, just by right clicking. That's basically going to smooth out the stop and start of, uh, I'm sorry, keyframe assistant. Easy ease. It's basically gonna gonna smooth the beginning and end of those of that movement, so Tyrone doesn't go flying through the windshield when it's when it stops. It's beautiful, guys. Space. Where would he go? We go to Venus. guys. I hope you learned something about how to do shit in After Effects. I love you. Goodbye.